Good morning, guys. I am doing a car vlog. I had to, I gotta wait, there's cars. I had to go to the doctor's today. Actually, I didn't even see my doctor. I had to go to the hospital today. I had, I don't know if y'all can see, blood work done today. I am due, okay, my turn. I am due for my annual thyroid check, but this time things were a little different because of everything, you know, going on. Hospitals have a different protocol right now. Doctor's offices have a different protocol. So I had about five pills left and I was like, oh my magical word, I need my medicine. And I'm running into Bath and Body Works. Anyway, um, I had about five pills left and I needed a new prescription, but my doctor doesn't give me a new prescription without taking my blood first because she has to make sure that I'm on the right dosage. Oh my goodness, she bought a lot of candles. I don't need that many. She, you know, they, they put the candles in the crates. She has like four crates and she has somebody helping her out to her car. I'm like, I don't need that many. Um, I bet her house is going to smell good with all that. Anyway, um, I called and they're like, well, we needed to take your blood to make sure that your levels are where they need to be before we renew your prescription. So uh, she said, what'll happen is we'll renew your current prescription for 30 days. So we'll give you 30 pills to last you. Come in, get your blood drawn, and then she'll call you and do a phone consultation and um, go over all your blood work. Cause she usually does a complete panel on me which is good because I like to know what my cholesterol and lipids and triglycerides and all of that, you know, is. Um, so I went out today and did that and um, got that squared away. I had to do a fast. So right now I'm like, I'm hungry. But once I'm out, I want to run my errands and um, I want to run into Bath and Body Works. And then I do have to stop in at the store real quick to pick up a few things. And then I'll be home the rest of the day. Guys, what do y'all think about Disney Plus and Milan moving over to um, Disney Plus directly? I did a poll on Instagram and 64% of y'all said you're just going to wait for it to actually come to the subscription. In other words, it's going to be included in your subscription rather than pay the $30 in advance to have it downloaded to your subscription. Um, if you pay the $30, um, it premieres on September 4th. Um, once it's in your library, it stays there. It doesn't go away. So it's not like you're renting it for $30. You're just pre buying it for $30. Uh, I, if I remember straight, my poll said 64% of y'all are going to wait. And, um, what was it? 64%. And then, um, 36% of y'all said that you were going to pre-purchase it. So, um, let me know what y'all think about it if you didn't answer that poll. If y'all are going to just wait for it to come out as part of your, you know, monthly subscription or if you're going to pay for it in advance. So, um, I'm excited to see it. Um, I can't wait. I, I think it's going to be good. I hope it's good. I think it's going to be good. I've seen the trailer and it looks good. So, um, I'm going to go into Bath and Body Works and see what scents for fall I can pick up. I think the ones that are on sale or clearance are the um, uh, spring and summer ones because it's kind of like they're having a um, looking they're having like a, a sidewalk sale and on their sidewalk sale they have all the all these candles out and two workers um, standing out there. So um, I'm guessing maybe they're trying to get rid of what candles they have left. I still have soap guys, you know, the pump soaps, uh, hand soap. 
because I bought them in February because we have people over in the spring and summertime we do barbecues but this year we did not we've only had two events at our house and even then they were toned down and I bought all this hand spring summer scent soap pump soaps and I still have a lot left over which I usually don't because we go through them because we have people over at our house I'm not going through it as fast <laughs> So I'm like, we're still going to be using summer scents come fall, I think. I think I have like four left that we have to get through. And I, I usually put them in the guest bath, but I think I'm going to distribute them among the other bathrooms so we can use them up. I'm like, if not, I'm, I'm going to be having summer scents in the bathroom for guests and it's <laughs> i'm just laughing because i'm like i'm kind of overloaded on uh soap and i didn't you know i bought it back in the end of like end of february like all that stuff comes out and i'm just like okay now i'm overloaded mm -hmm. what am i gonna do and i really want to buy the fall scent soaps and stuff because that stuff smells good too i love anything when Bath and Body Works puts out all their pumpkin stuff, oh my goodness, it smells so good. And fall is not my favorite season. Spring is. But I do like the scents that they put out in fall. The caramel and the pumpkin and the cinnamon and the nutmeg and um, what's the other one? They have one that's called bourbons. And then I know a lot of people like, um, what's it called? Um, cupcake pumpkin. There's one waffle, waffle something, waffle caramel or something. Oh my goodness, that smells good too. But yeah, what is your favorite uh, fall scent from Bath and Body Works? Or just what's your favorite fall scent? Mine's anything cinnamon roll, caramel, pumpkin-y. Like I love, oh, it just smells so good. It makes me want to cuddle up, read a book, and just have that smell going while I'm drinking a cup of hot tea. Yep. So, but anyway, guys, let me head in there really quick. And if I buy something, which I'm pretty sure I will, I'll show you. Okay, guys, I got some stuff from Bath and Body Works. And I stopped off at McDonald's and got my husband his tea. He's working from home today surprise him with a fresh unsweet nice tea talked about it last time I vlogged with y'all my husband loves his tea unsweetened so while I was in bath and body works okay first of all yes all candles were $11.95 before I went in I checked my email it's a big truck before I went in I checked my emails and sure enough all candles it was their three wick candle sale all candles there was a candle debacle or candle drama or however you want to put it not with me but with somebody else I just happened to witness it so there is a limit to the number of candles you can buy um, if you if you get the little print ad in your email or they have an app I don't have the app maybe it's also on the app too but there is a limit to 20 candles it tells you there's a limit 20 candles you can get six candles in each crate so um, there was this lady who had five crates and she had already filled up four so that's 24 candles and she was getting ready to fill a fifth one a sales is so I was standing near her and a sales associate kind of stood back and said, ma'am, ma'am. And I turned because I didn't know if she was addressing me. And the other lady didn't turn. And she goes, no. And she goes, ma'am. And the other lady turned around and she goes, yes. And she said, please don't kill the messenger, but you're only limited to 20 candles. And she said, who says I'm limited to 20 candles? She goes, 
the company policy says you're limited to 20 candles. Um, the lady was like, where does it say 20 candles? And she showed her. And she goes, oh. She said, okay. So she said, well, can I buy 20 candles and then put them in my car and come back and buy another 20 as another sale? And she said, no. I don't know if she could or couldn't have done that. I don't know. It would have been a separate sale. Um, my best bet is don't argue. Yes, salespeople shouldn't argue with customers, but I don't think customers should argue with salespeople either. It says 20. It's 20. Okay. Anyway, she goes, can I just go put these in my car and then come back and purchase more? And she goes, no, I'm sorry. We can't allow you to do that. She's like, well, it would be a separate purchase. She's like, ma'am, I'm sorry. We can't. She goes, what time do you get off? And she goes, I get off at three today. And she goes, I'll come back when you're not here. I was like, wow, this lady must really want her candles. Now, I don't know if she's going to go back or not and get her candles. But I was like, wow, she got her 20. Now, I was leaving... And as I was leaving, other customers were leaving, and we were all kind of, you know, walking distancely to the parking lot. And I heard another lady leaving with her candles tell her, she goes, I, I heard your little conversation in there about the candles. We're all walking to our car, and I'm just like walking behind them. And she said, just go to the other Bath and Body Works and get 20. She goes, that's what I do. She goes, I hit all four because there's four different ones in my area. I mean, some of them you do have to drive a little bit, but if you're wanting those candles that bad. And she goes, I hit all four and by the end of the day, I got 80 candles. And I'm like, wow, what do they do with, I might, my, I'm guessing maybe they give them as gifts and stuff. I don't know. And the other lady said, no, I'm going to come back here after she's off work just because she irritated me. And I was like, okay, hopefully somebody doesn't like tell somebody else. You know, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. It was a little candle battle in the store. Mm. Candle drama. 2020. Just added to all the other 2020 stuff. Who's ready for 2021? I'm ready for 2021. Hmm? It's like 2020 has just been a disaster! Ugh. I wanted to share with y'all before I go get something to eat because I am hungry. This movie just came in the mail. You cannot get it anywhere on any subscription. When you Google search the movie, it pops up, but usually you can click on, you know, where to watch and it'll list a whole bunch of different subscriptions that you can watch it on. Uh-uh. You can't even get it on Amazon Prime Movies for rental. So the movie's called Once Around. It's got Richard Dreyfuss, Holly Hunter in it. It's a really good movie. The ending makes me cry, but it's a movie that Dan and I enjoy. I believe it came out in 1991. Uh, let me know if you've seen it. If not and you like family style movies like if you like steel magnolias um my big fat greek wedding betsy's wedding you would like this movie i got something to eat guys and i'm feeling a lot better i was starting to get a headache and i was getting to be a little cranky even with myself okay so stopped into bath and body works picked up a couple of candles i didn't get a lot only because bath and body works isn't the only candle brand that I buy throughout the seasons. I do buy other candle brands. So I don't like to invest all of my candles into one brand. So I only picked up four and two of them are the same scent, but I have a happy Disney story to share with y'all. So when you walk into the store, you have to wear your mask. You can't take it off and it's kind of hard to smell the scents, but 
Some of these are powerful enough that you can smell them through your mask. And one of them is Caramel Pumpkin Swirl, and it is right there. And then the top has little pumpkins. I don't know if the glare is picking it up or not because I'm filming in front of a window. But it has little embossed pumpkins in there. And I was smelling it through my mask, and now I don't have to wear my mask. Oh, it smells so good. Anyway, I was smelling this in the store. The lady saw a smile on my face and she goes, are you finding everything okay today? And I said, yes, I am. I said, as a matter of fact, this candle makes me think of the Grand Floridian. And then she goes, I love it when customers come in here and they smell something and it makes them think of a place or a thing. And she said, what's the Grand Floridian? And I said, it's a resort in Walt Disney World. And she goes, I've never been to Walt Disney World. And I was like, oh, my magical word. It's a happy place. It's magical. And um, I was telling her that it was a deluxe resort. And she said to me, is it that resort that's really big and sits on the water? And at first I thought, hopefully she's not getting it mixed up with the contemporary or, or the poly. But then she said, and it's got like that old charm, like the Titanic. And I said, yes. And she goes, that's the Grand Floridian. And I said, yes. And the monorail runs through it. Anyway, we just started talking and she said, the resort smells like that. And I said, it smells like that during the holidays. It doesn't smell like that all year long, but it smells like cinnamon, pumpkin, gingerbread, nutmeg, like all of that just comes together. My I told her, I said, my husband swears they put it in the vents because it doesn't matter where you are. He thinks they put something in the carpet. Like Dan thinks they put something in the vents. He thinks they put something in the carpet because he's like, it smells too good in here. It just smells like one big gingerbread cookie and with caramel and just all that yummy goodness. Anyway, she said, I don't know if I could stay at that resort with it smelling that good. And I said, well, if you ever go, make sure that you go there during the holidays and you walk through that resort. Not only is it beautiful and elegant, but it smells so good. So guys, I did pick up two of these, of this one, because it's my favorite one. I did look for pump, cupcake pumpkin. I always get it mixed up. I can't remember if it's pumpkin cupcake or cum, pumpkin cupcake or cupcake pumpkin. If you know, please correct me so I'll know. Okay. So I picked up two of those. They had pumpkin donut, but I got that one last year and it was, a. it smelled really good, but when I lit it, I just didn't think it gave off a power, powerful enough smell. The next one I got is pumpkin pecan waffle. I've gotten this one before. This one has a leaf and I haven't even opened this one and you can smell it. You can smell the pumpkin, not the pumpkin. You can smell pumpkin, but I smell more of the pecan waffle. Hmm. There it is. And all of these guys are three wicks. And like I said, this one has a leaf on top. This one just has a very simple um, label on it, nothing fancy. Believe it or not, it actually makes me think of, um, what do I wanna say, uh, the beach. Doesn't really make me think of fall. This makes me think of the sand right in here. This makes me think of like um, a mirage and the sun be beating down on it. Um, I don't get a fall vibe with the actual container. The smell, yes. The container, no. The next one I got, last one, is a classic for me. Vanilla pump cake. Vanilla pumpkin. And it's got marshmallow written there. And this one's just got a basic top. Nothing fancy. I wish they would have put like pumpkin uh, embossed on this one too. I think they could have done that. That's just me. Lovely. I like this one. This one has that vanilla, just, this one has that vanilla soft scent. This one you could actually light up even after fall kind of passes and you're getting, in my opinion anyway, because it has a vanilla 
um, getting into Christmas or getting like into December, you know, the end of things, like the last couple of days between Thanksgiving and Christmas, like it, to me, it has that, has that smell. Once I start getting into the Christmas time, getting closer to Christmas, I like things like pine and, um, uh, berry, you know, th those scents, um, I have a tendency to like Yankee candle scents for the winter and Bath and Body Works for like the fall. I don't know why, but I think Yankee Candles got has some great like winter smells, you know, like winter berry and things like that. And I love their pine. And they have, I think they have like a pine sage. But yeah, guys, those are the four candles. They were on sale for $11.95. I like to kind of round it up to $12, but retail on these regular are $24.50. And I'm gonna be light, lighting one here in a few weeks. I don't officially start lighting my fall candles until September. So a couple of more weeks and I'll be lighting them. But yeah, guys, that was today's vlog. And like I said, this was just a mini candle haul, nothing really big, but I wanted to share with y'all what I got. Thank you so much for spending the day with me and some time with me and hanging out. I hope y'all enjoyed the vlog. Chat with me down below and I'll chat with you back. So guys, thank you so much for stopping by at Life in Disney today and taking the time out to watch this video. So until next time, guys, oh, got a tongue twist there. Till next time, y'all take care. Y'all have a magical day and a magical week and I will see y'all later. Bye guys. Take care.